friends, welcome to Inspire From Universe. This is a travel and educational channel. This video is about the final part of space tourism. If you have missed watching space tourism part 1 and the other 3 videos regarding space like Aurora, space travel and ISS, kindly click the link below and watch it. Only then you can understand this video better. We have seen in detail about the types of space tourism and in suborbital space tourism, the achievements by Virgin Galactic in the year 2021 and its future plans in our first part. Next important company in the same suborbital tourism category is Blue Origin. The owner of this company is the Amazon owner himself, Jeff Bezos. He made his debut space travel trip on the 20th July 2021 by his Blue Origins spacecraft New Shepard. New Shepard reached an altitude of 107 kilometers above sea level and came back successfully. He traveled along with his brother and two more tourists and kick-started his company's part in the space tourism industry. The total travel time was less than 15 minutes and spent around 2 minutes at 107 km altitude and experienced the weightlessness or zero gravity feeling. Blue Origin has announced that it has plans to have a commercial space station in the future. Though they haven't officially disclosed the price for one seat in the new Shepard, there are talks that they have sold tickets for more than a hundred million US dollars already. In an interview, Jeff Bezos mentioned that there is a huge demand for this sector. In orbital space tourism category, there is only one player in the market and that's SpaceX. NASA started using the spacecrafts of SpaceX to send goods to astronauts in the ISS since 2012. And in 2020, NASA used SpaceX Crew Dragon spaceship to send astronauts to the ISS. SpaceX has successfully sent the world's first fully commercial spacecraft, Inspiration4, in September 2021. Four tourists traveled in this spacecraft and reached an altitude of 590 kilometers above sea level. Inspiration4 stayed in space for three days and made 15 orbits every day around the Earth and landed safely back on our Earth. Various reports say that the American billionaire Jared Isaacman has funded the entire trip. It is believed that he would have spent around 200 million US dollars for the three day space trip. It is estimated that one seat in Inspiration 4 spacecraft may cost around 50 to 55 million US dollars. SpaceX is planning by 2026 to send tourist spacecraft to Mars. Same way in the near future, they have plans to start tour packages to the moon too. In this orbital space tourism, even the Boeing company is expected to join the race soon. Another great milestone achieved in this year was the first film shooting happened in space. The Russian actress Yulia and director Klim reached ISS on October 5th, 2021 by the Soyuz spacecraft. They stayed for 12 days in the ISS and successfully completed film shooting and return. We can expect the space tourism industry to undergo a major revolution in the next 10 years. Though for the next few years, space tourism can become truly for only billionaires due to the extensive technological advancements happening every day, let us hope space tourism will be at a reachable distance for many in the coming years. With this belief, we are coming to an end of space tourism chapter. If you can guess the next chapter, mention in the comment section below. Subscribe, share, like, and comment Inspire From Universe. Until we meet again, take care and bye friends!